Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Christianity is an experience. Christianity is a revelation. It's not a religion. What we call Christianity, the faith life, the work of a believer, what was committed to us by Jesus is a revelation. It's an experience. It's an experience. It was the Holy Spirit who birthed the church the holy spirit birthed the church not only did the holy spirit father jesus the holy spirit birthed the church jesus was not ashamed to call the holy spirit his father he said my father in me there is my father who is in heaven but there is my father who is in me abba my source my sustainer So it was the Holy Spirit who birthed the church. Listen, we talk a lot about Christianity. Many zealous people have died in villages. Many people have been martyred, but we have ignored the Spirit of God. Why we have ignored Him is a mystery. He started the church. He started the church. And today we drive Him out of our churches. We drive him out of our cathedrals. We call him a nuisance. We say he is too noisy. We have sent him out of our families. We have sent him out of our businesses. We have sent him out of our lives. We have sent him out of our ministries. We have sent him out of our homes. We sent him out of our children. We sent him out of civilization. We sent him out of government. We sent him out of our finances the spirit of God second Corinthians 13 verse 14 my assignment tonight is to bring him to your consciousness that he is a person write this down the Holy Spirit has a definite form he's not an amoeba he's not like a boneless creature no the Holy Spirit has an exact distinct form the reason why he does not reveal his form ordinarily to people is because he wants Jesus to be glorified, not because he does not have a form. Are we, are we together now? You have to get this. When you are in the realm of the spirit, you can see the person of the Holy Spirit. Now, it's very difficult for you to understand this because, Pastor Femi, come. If this is Joshua Selman. I, you cannot believe that I am in Pastor Femi's house or I am in his heart. That possibility 
cannot be understood in a three-dimensional realm the concept of omnipresence is not a reality that our civilization is used to there is no that that ability to be omnipresent is not there that's why the internet was allowed by god to show us that omnipresence is a possibility i can be in my room right now scattered across over 45 nations of the world there are different people connecting right now and they are hearing at the same time some with phones some with laptops some seated right now as soon as this series is over we will upload it and in minutes literally minutes people all over the world are downloading it omnipresence is a reality the internet has shown us that it is possible there is a station where facebook is zuckerberg is a person but he has multiplied himself through a mystery are we together so they say are you on facebook it's the same way saying have you given your life to christ but there is a personality called zuckerberg there is facebook office but there is facebook in your house there is facebook in your phone and whoever does not have facebook is not part of zuckerberg are you seeing that now so how will you say it is not possible for the holy spirit to be living in you and to work with you you can have facebook in your phone but you can meet with the person zuckerberg and be in the real facebook office there is a real form there is an office today you can snap called facebook but there is a similitude of it zuckerberg is in everybody's phone whenever you say zuckerberg the phone facebook is the representation of the presence of zuckerberg so when you gave your life to Christ, yes, you were born again, but Jesus is in your heart. It is true, but in your heart, in the person of the Holy Spirit, the person, Jesus, is in heaven, seated today with a solid body. He will return with it. So when you say, I belong to Jesus, it is true, but the seal is the Holy Spirit. He's the one who validates that your claims are true more on that next week when I'm, I'm teaching you on the ministry of the holy spirit the holy spirit what do i want to get today to teach you second corinthians chapter 13 verse 14 i want us to dwell in the understanding of the person thank you thank you pastor of the holy spirit let me talk about these three things the grace of our lord jesus christ he says and the love of god he says and the communion koinonia fellowship intercourse sharing together participation of the holy spirit he said these three things should be with you number one the love of god the love of god is an expression of the benevolent nature of god it's an expression of his generosity his, his fortitude to express his nature in and to and through men the love of God Paul is saying if you want to walk and do business in this kingdom the love of God must be at work in you the love of God is revealed in the person of Jesus Christ and also revealed in the substitutionary sacrifice of Jesus Jesus did not come to the earth just as a suggestion of himself he came in response to the father's love he came to prove the love of the father that's the first thing paul says we should know the love of god i'm not dwelling so much there the second thing he says we should know is the grace of our lord jesus christ what is the grace of our lord jesus christ it's not just unmerited access we're not doing a whole teaching on grace but grace is not look, look at me grace is not unmerited access alone that is just a dimension of grace grace is a generic terminology that is used to express any and everything that comes from god any and everything that comes from god is called grace are you seeing now it's not just salvation anointing is grace wisdom is grace my definition of grace is given in the bible every good and perfect gift that comes from above is called grace it's not just unmerited access unmerited access is a dimension of the operation of grace 
if all you know about grace is just unmerited access no the power to perform is grace because it is not your own you are giving it the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ then he says the communion please give us amplified let me dwell here and then we'll pray the communion I'll be teaching you the next time we meet on the ministry of the Holy Spirit but the starting point of the journey of your walk with God the first thing he wants to achieve in your life when the Holy Spirit comes to you is fellowship partnership is a product of fellowship 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 there are so many people who want partnership but they do not want fellowship partnership means to work with him that's that's the section four or so of our course content the ministry of the spirit that's where i will teach you signs and wonders miracles raising the dead healing the sick increase multiplication signs and wonders that's the ministry of the spirit that is partnership with him but the starting point of a believer unfortunately most of our prayers are largely prayers directed towards our needs towards warfare which is important but very little of it is a system built for fellowship fellowship and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost the personality of the Holy Ghost not just his ministry not just his power the Holy Spirit is a real person real person real person he walks with you he lives in you he represents the presence of the Holy Spirit in your life the presence of God in your life but he walks with you when the Holy Spirit comes into your life come darling when the Holy Spirit comes into your life listen the first thing he wants to achieve is not to use you for signs and wonders that's what you want so you want a sharp sharp impartation let me just fall down roll around roll around stand up and all of a sudden I look around and I say look better invite me because I have power many people know his power but they do not know his person are we together imagine a woman who has been eating her husband's money and never knows him what is his name I don't know what is his best meal I don't know what are his best colors I don't know where is he now I need to I don't know he just left home and uh, whenever he comes he knows ah, but you are rich it's his money you have his wife you must be an irresponsible wife correct yeah. the Holy Spirit there are so many things we don't know about him and we don't care the average pastor talks about him but does not know him our lives are very it's a demonstration that we are very ignorant of him we do not see the ultimate ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life listen is not to speak to you is that you and him will be so intertwined that you become an expression of his reality the same way he's an expression of the reality of heaven he is the one who makes thy kingdom come possible in your life so when people see you you are so bound to him you look like him you talk like him you walk like him your life is an effulgence of his presence i introduce to you tonight the person of the holy spirit he does not belong to pentecostals listen carefully he does not belong to people in lagos he does not belong to western elites he does not belong to those who can speak English and can read King James. How many people go to the villages and do evangelism and dare talk to them about the Holy Spirit? When you come and people are well dressed in suits like me, say now these guys are candidates for the Holy Spirit. But you see one mama in the village who cannot speak English, say, don't mind these people. You see that? Many of us are here seated right now. Nobody ever introduced him to you. They told you about Jesus you cried and every time you pray Jesus can you hear me and he looks in heaven and says I love you and I can hear you but you are not sincere I sent somebody to you you ignored the person I sent and you claim to love me no no 
we have ignored him and he has watched us like a gentleman in our pride and confusion we have done everything we have done we have been taught that the moment you receive him you must be a Jujim Christian a fiery brother or a lady that is going to marry a man of God and you say me I, I, God has never spoken to me about ministry I'm a quiet businesswoman Holy Spirit you can just go and remain in Koinonia your team and they really need you there you see that attitude how many worshipers sing about him they write songs about him we twist our tongues on stage about him <laughs> God God this and that we don't know him we don't know him it's one thing listen it's one thing for God to be with you but it's another thing to be with God God can be with you as a person but that you be with him that means you have released your will to say yes Lord the Holy Spirit wants to reveal himself the church of the Lord Jesus Christ does not know him I'm calling us way beyond the realm of power this is way beyond the realm of miracles let me tell you something pastors leaders much more than miracles let the miracles be a derivative of his presence if they have they can happen in the absence of his presence because you can have the anointing the same way you can use my ATM and withdraw money the ATM will not refuse because my identity is on it the disciples did not know the Holy Spirit yet they went and they were raising wheelchairs casting out devils let me tell you that you cast out demons please listen carefully that you cast out demons and heal the sick is not a sign that you know him no 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 for even the demons believe in God they tremble so many people in the body of Christ the moment you see a man of God walking miracles and I'm not against it moving you know somebody rising from the wheelchair you just assume that God, this guy knows the Holy Spirit no many people know him as an influence they know his power they know what his power can do but they don't know him because when you know him he alters you in a very remarkable way the proof that you know the Holy Spirit is that you submit your will for his characteristics to begin to find expression in and through you. You see that? Yeah. When a demon, you've seen people now, you've seen people manifest time and again under the influence of spirit here and in different meetings. Notice, you can, for instance, you can see this lovely lady right now and assuming there is a spirit attempting to influence her the moment you attempt to cast out that devil she can start crawling on her knees this is not something that she should do as a human being but the spirit is trying to execute his characteristics so when the passive of the holy spirit is at work in your life your life becomes an effulgence of his characteristics you don't just say um we are angry people in our family that's how we are I'm anointed but we're angry if he lands on me I give it to you even God you know beat me I beat you God no go those those stupid statements that people make they don't know him I have seen many anointed people who do not know him personally I sincerely consider myself not even to know him I know that many people say ah koinonia the whole name the ministry of the Holy Spirit my prayer every time is holy spirit reveal yourself to me while i was preparing for this series i was almost ashamed of myself i said truly 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 what am i now going to say about him that's why many people describe him because knowing him is not something it's like trying to teach you about your wife Jimmy. it's difficult i can only describe her she makes cake because i have a product in my house but is she cake she has lovely sisters and brothers wonderful we can only use descriptions but do you know the best way to let men know him become an expression of him an expression of him when your life vetoes culture all those listen carefully all those embargoes that make you look like a Yoruba man 
all those embargoes that make you look like a kogi man all those irresponsibilities that make you look like a plateau man a kaduna man when they are swallowed up by that relationship they know that somebody else has oriented your life are you getting what i'm saying now very important you can be born again casting out devils but everybody looks at you they can trace you so naturally they say ah this guy's jealousy is from this state they are like that they are oh no forget that he's anointed they are like that but when they can hardly describe your earthly identity you have switched to a true relationship with a personality that you are so intertwined with him that people can look at you and guess and say where are you i don't know whether you are from rivers or you are from plateau state or delta and you tell them i'm from zion the zion of god truly speaking the same way when you see a jam bite in a university even if he's 40 years you will know he's a new student he's an adult outside but when he enters that institution he will try to be matured but you look at him you know that no this guy is not used to this are we together the lingua franca the way of talking the way people are doing there is a popular pothole that everybody in that knows if you, you can with your eyes closed you can jump in then he falls into it that's a jam bite he's not drunk he's just new these are realities with the holy spirit when i look at your life and the characteristics of the spirit are not manifesting there i know something is wrong anger bitterness we think these things don't matter the person of the holy spirit was designed to remedy this lapse so on a good day based on my culture based on my village based on where i come from i cannot stand and look at it she should kneel down and lie down self because i mean i'm a man i'm a king he comes into your life and introduces who god is to you he shows you who god is and says in the kingdom that you so love and respect jesus that you so admire this is not how he is and he not tell he doesn't tell you what to do he influences you to become it the power to become not the information alone to become the power to become can anything good come out of nazareth you are talking to a man who has met the holy spirit without him nothing good can come out of nazareth but with him with him with him with him the person of the holy spirit is the mystery the mystery that turned his tamara like benihin to become a world-renowned figure there are many people i have gone for meetings and i've seen signs and wonders but never felt his presence he was almost absent in that meeting signs and wonders can be happening but he's not producing conviction people are just clapping but nobody is living with any sense of conviction because he's not there when you enter Benny his meeting whether you are dead or alive you know that the spirit of god is there signs and wonders are just a confirmation but you know let me tell you how you know a man of the secret place it's not miracles presence 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 not just when you are playing keyboard presence there is a presence if this lady sprays perfume very nice quality perfume and i hold her like this after a while is it true that i should begin to smell that perfume when you walk in a restaurant at the back of the restaurant where they cook and the firewood is there and you claim you were there for two hours cooking rice and you leave you should not smell fresh that place should implicate you no matter how neat you are I should see palm oil somewhere in your cloth or sweat you should smell like that rice or smell like smoke or smell like the kitchen you can't come out and you are still looking like this and say i was cooking rice not gas stove no it's a sign you were not there how many people claim they know him and they think because somebody flew under the anointing is just a sign no sir no sir listen I tell you the secret of koinonia it's not just miracles there are ministries that work in 
10 times more miracles 10 times the miracle that this ministry has worked in put together if Benny Hinn should show up here they will all happen in one night but brothers and sisters the difference that presence that's what creates conviction so you can listen to a message you already know everything about it yet it will pound you and change you and you find yourself on your knees that's something that even when your parents say you should do it you didn't do it presence you know him when you can prove that you carry his presence you know him when you can prove the reality the reality you know a lot of people see me and they say apostle joshua selman has a call you know revival helping people experience god it's not really a call that's not yes i have a dimension of a call to reveal the person of the holy spirit but it's even if i'm talking about finances or i'm talking about whatever that presence that presence that presence just like some of you are listening to me now there's someone seated outside the wind may not be as favorable as you want yet something is happening to him that's what can make somebody who is a non-christian sit down outside and you are talking about what is not directly salvation but a presence lands on his head you see him shaking and just sitting it's not every shaking that is just anointing that carried people it's the effect of his presence his presence his presence i'd like you to close your eyes and pray one minute and say lord not just your power a revelation of your presence pray pray the presence in my life not just power for miracles you are in fellowship the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god he says listen and the koinonia the fellowship that the holy spirit is not an archangel please the holy spirit is not an archangel the holy spirit is not the firstborn of the angels no he is called the angel of the lord's presence but the word angel there means the messenger of the lord's presence the conveyor not the slave of god no 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 the holy spirit we have ignored him so much spirit breaker break our walls down walls of unbelief and doubt and fear break our walls down spirit break out heaven come down you were brooding over every dark you are causing light to shine from darkness he's brooding over every darkness he is causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness that's what he's doing in your life he is brooding over every darkness my god is causing light you are brooding over 
your cozy lights to shine from Prophesy it one more time Lord, you are pleased over every time You are causing light Listen The Holy Spirit is the one who taught me the word I remember, let me tell you next the next time we meet i will share with you a lot of stories about my work with the holy spirit how the holy ghost started with me the spirit of god is not power many people want power they want somebody to rise from wheelchair because you think that's what will bring members have you not seen signs and wonders producers no his presence his presence is a product of a real relationship do you know him do you know him do you talk to him do you respect him is your life an effulgence of his characteristics show me how he this he took that anger out of your life show me how he's taken your tribe and culture out of your life you approve we dance in an eye of cosmos, lights to shine in time. You are brooding over every dance. You are causing light to shine. One more time. You are brooding. You are brooding. Listen, I've shared a bit of my experiences with you people when I would be in the room lying down and I would see a mist like fog what you call fog a mist the shape of a man standing there a real mist next the next time we meet I'll share with you all these encounters a real mist and brothers and sisters i will be frozen not just under his power his influence every part of me is shaking like a leaf for hours i don't know what it is like things are entering me and leaving me i cannot even explain is it that he's speaking to me is it impartation is it deliverance i don't even know all i know is that like a hand upon me and i tell you i remain like that for hours sometimes i will not even say one word one word it's not all this fake trying to pray and check time and say it's two hours let me steal so that no 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 his presence defines your longevity his presence defines how you pray his presence defines what happens you don't tell him nah. his presence till today that is a practice i will never trade for anything no matter who i become or what i become listen let me tell you something the moment the moment you say oh god give me tea i bind every devil you're not going to experience his presence but calm down and set the atmosphere spirit of the living god you are welcome here i give you my life take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. This is you praying now. Not give me tea and bread. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Affect my life, breathe on me. As I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. You are the Holy Ghost. Let me show you what I do in my secret place. Holy Ghost, you are the Holy Ghost. Hey. The Holy Ghost, take your place. Hey. Take your place. Hey, 
Take your place. Take your place. Listen. Prayer. Hear me. Prayer was primarily designed as a spiritual system to know him, to meet with him. Prayer was designed primarily as the system that conveys his presence to you. There is the warfare dimension of prayer. There is intercession. There is supplication. There is the prayer. But he said, when you pray, pray in this manner. Abba Father, listen, who art in heaven, not give me tea, give me bread. I must marry. I need a child. He said, your kingdom, your influence, your person come. Let me tell you why many people's prayer lives are dead. It's not because they cannot pray in tongues. I know many people's prayer life. My prayer life is one of the richest points of my Christian life. My, my prayer, I pray that one day during a vigil here, after we do anything, we, we will pray. I want to show you what I do in the secret place. My prayer life is not a boring time. You know why? Because I don't carry all these things that people, I don't enter his presence just disturbing him and talking stupid things. Let me tell you, there is a strategy that the devil uses for your prayer life. The moment you want to pray, he tries to make you weak. You will even think you don't have the strength for five minutes time of prayer. And then this is what many of us do. You just stand up. Oh God, I've been telling you about this thing. Oh God, my jam is coming tomorrow. No, you don't need his presence. You need power for that one. When you want his presence, be ready to give him time. This hurry, hurry thing that people do, you will not find him that way. No. Presence. I let worship begin to set the atmosphere. I have made, I have made an altar. You see that? An altar. I have found the night time to be my best time of not just intercession and warfare alone, but deep intimacy. Because in the daytime, your phone is ringing. Somebody is disturbing you. See, don't ever give an excuse for why you don't seek him. I'm married. I have 10 children. I, I am... I am um, an accountant. We finish in the bank late. You always have time for what you love. Hallelujah. Yeah. No. I'm yet to see what can distract me. When I'm having deep fellowship with the Holy Spirit, my phone can ring to hell. Anything can happen. You must... You, you use desire and respect to keep his presence. Not just faith. Desire and respect. Come and you are praying. The Holy Spirit, your, your boyfriend. Hey, Holy, um, Holy Spirit, how are you? Um, um, uh, my boyfriend, how am I? Holy Spirit, how are you? Um, this, no, 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 no. You are not serious. And it's not just moving. Ba, 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 ba. And you are running. Ba, 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 ba. That's warfare, not fellowship. When... You are ready for fellowship you let him define the modus operandi of the prayer session he is lord over the prayer session there are times i go to pray and as soon as i get there immediately do you know sometimes let me tell you what happens sometimes i can be studying my bible or even just relaxing i know when his presence shows up now his manifested presence the moment i begin to sense his presence around i try to discern is this just wanting me to pray or something Immediately, I go and lock my door. The Holy Spirit loves privacy. He's a very private person. Forget that you see his power like this. The Holy Spirit, there are things he will never do and show you in public. No, sir. Thank God for corporate gathering. But the specifics of his dealings with you must be in the secret place. Sleep? Me? No. That's why many people's prayer lives are not rich. Let me tell you, when he comes, the first thing that happens is he's that man to learn it. Learn it. 
the presence of the Holy Spirit should affect your spirit, soul, and body. When he comes, it's not just by faith. You know he's there. His influence envelops you. This is how people become strong presence carriers. Not just power carriers. Presence. Benny Hinn was describing one time, you know, he's my mentor in that area. And Benny Hinn was describing how he was preparing for meetings. Do you know? He said when he's preparing for meetings, it is directly from the secret place. He would just bath ask anybody who knows me i know many times we are coming directly from a trip but koinonia here especially miracle service it is from prayer and fellowship straight you see me stand up and come here not just no no matter how many minutes stand up from watching football and just say i mind you let me just wear my tie quickly who are you playing games with you want to come and cast out devils you want to come and change somebody who they use a spell to keep him a non-christian for 30 years who do you think you are that you want to speak in two hours i remember i was teaching one time on um revelation of heaven and hell he was outside one um, at is it an imam or ustas one gentleman he studied arabic he was seated outside while the teaching was going on I mean the presence of God was pounding on that gentleman and the next thing all of a sudden outside here the overflow the heavens were open for him and he had a vision of Jesus way before an altar call he, I don't know where that guy is now but that kind of born again there's no going back encounters are not products of power encounters are products of a person invited into your life and the effect of his presence this encounter thing that you see people talk about me different ministries they write all kinds of the supernatural when they say the supernatural let me tell you what they mean a man of god who comes and somebody falls down falls down a few healings here and they say man it was a powerful meeting let me tell you an encounter is an experience that makes a person and a thing real to you it doesn't have to be visionary but it must be supernatural are we together imagine if all of us here inside and outside imagine all the people here that we become true presence carriers do you know do you know the dimension of the kingdom you will produce in the life of people dimension all these many discussion and counselings you just come and stand near somebody and a presence there is an invisible personality with you I tell you, I give you two or three minutes. You see that person shaking. The person is not shaking just because there are not. Ah, help, 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 I'm sorry. The person is not shaking just because there is an anointing. The person is shaking simply because you think it's power. That's what people say. That this is not power. This is presence. You go into a business meeting. You carry that cloud. You go to your home where there is a shrine. That they smuggled somewhere you don't need to know whether they planted it in a football field under whatever just carry that presence like the ark of god in the house of obededom and you watch what begins to happen one of our ladies here was telling me i think she went home and she said she just played one koinonia message and when she played she said it was like human beings were running physically out of the house presence 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 Balaam cursed them and he turned and saw no 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 the shout of a king his voice his presence is in their midst let me tell you what I will explain to you next week but the key to walking in strange levels of health and freshness physical biological freshness is not just rubbing goat milk cream and all of this let me tell you the presence of god can revitalize revitalize are you a christian revitalize all this issue of somebody 20 years you are looking like 30 sluggish you are uh, this and that mm -mm. let his presence roast away all that chaff out of you in all sincerity and in all truth I truly consider myself to be stronger and better and happier than ever. It's presence.
how you know he's with you is joy unspeakable full of glory it's called the joy of the holy ghost ah in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my heart only comes alive every time i hear there's a joy in my soul in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my soul only comes alive every time the world is full of sad people angry and sad people you know why my wife offended me my husband offended me they didn't pay salary this person did this the government is wicked Buari is not a nice man this one did this um osimba joy is not doing well this one is doing this let me tell you joy is not a commodity that you can get on earth joy is one of the blessings of his presence joy joy is not just laughing like a fool the ability to sustain and you ignore the storms that your you can see people in see let me tell you in the olden days when they were going to kill missionaries before they would bomb they would blow them they fed them to lions lions and peronero will sit on his throne in a theater and they will bring out one of the saints do you know how the guy saw they took human beings and tied them and then they lit them to be the torchlight that he will use to see human beings roasting to give light and many of them before they died they sang amazing grace they said no 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 when you laugh in the midst of the storm it's not natural the holy ghost is a sign that you are aware they were about to stone stephen all this frowning around thinking you are the first the devil will cheat you you must learn a system of joy i know there's no money in your pocket but don't allow the first sign of depression is that it has a way of taking away joy when men are about to die the first thing is they stop talking ask the doctors they are angry they have entered into a state of acute depression but he said the joy of the lord is my strength strength you see why many people are weak you will never come and meet me like this ah, life joy joy unspeakable you can't fake that one his presence gives me joy all the time all the time it doesn't mean everything just happens the way i want no there are all, there are too many people to annoy you every 24 hours that's what satan wants as you are sharing the grace somebody matches your your leg by mistake and you say how about say, what, uh, what uh, allow me to tell you sorry i was about to say it and it spoils your mind i said this coin on here it's just because we are serving god otherwise your joy is gone is your joy so small rich in joy he said for with joy shall you draw it's one of the reasons why many people don't get miracles haven't believed they don't have joy the joy of the lord that is your strength they don't have it see let me tell you something some of you came to koinonia sad angry depressed as if the whole world is on you when there is nothing else you have keep your joy in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy that i now have it truly comes alive every time i hear your voice there are times that we go for meetings and the hospitality is not at its best sometimes it can be so annoying because we've traveled so far and you see the people wasting time maybe keeping us so long in the airport to pick us those things can bring anger and all of a sudden i remember the joy of the lord the joy of the lord if you remember your bank account to be happy you will soon die if you remember the presence of your child if you remember that oh i have my certificate under under one newspaper that i wrapped if that is why you are happy this world 
does not have room for that to give you joy do you know many people try other things trying to get joy they try education they try marriage they try money this money thing you see they try everything they try bullying others they try politics no the true source of joy joy unspeakable is the holy spirit look at what happened to job a man boils lost his entire estate dogs were licking him he was seated in the ashes the wife had looked at him and he said though he slay me yet will i trust him my joy uh -uh. satan has not cheated you if he does not succeed in making you ignore the ministry of the holy spirit i don't care what else leaves you if the holy spirit is in your life covet that fellowship 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 listen tonight is a night of restoration because some of us you were not like this listen carefully that's not how you started with god there are people here scattered across the day you became a pastor the day you became a man of god you became a reverend the day you married a pastor the day they gave you a position of a president that's the day fellowship died no need for fellowship again i'm busy busy for what busy for what i, I now have a job you know before I, I wasn't working but now my job requires that i'm in brazil today portaco tomorrow i barely have time hey spirit cultivate fellowship with him your life would have been 10 times better than it is if you did not ignore him now you may say he's in me but you ignored his person i can have a visitor in my house and leave him in the parlor in anger to prove to him that you are wasting my time and enter another parlor and be doing a business discussion is he in my house yes but are we in fellowship no don't say God is in my heart. Don't say the Holy Spirit is in my heart. Are you engaging him? I know you prayed. Oh, I prayed about it. What did he say? Me, I have shall prayed. If you pray and did not have an instruction or a direction from the word, you have not prayed. The confusion in the life of many people today. Listen, there are many there are many things in people's life. There are people today who have traveled to geographic locations where they have no business being there. Somebody just got up and felt like God was sending him to um, Australia. The Holy Spirit was not consulted. You just felt it was just a, a rumbling in my stomach. And you got up and got visa and went and you are almost dying in Australia. There are people who they just sat down and they ignored him and started churches they had prayer meetings they had evangelical meetings and just assumed Kai I think we are large enough to start a church and they started it think how many things have gone wrong in our lives sincerely because we have ignored him think how many people right now are regretting their marriages because they ignored him my mother said I should just marry anything and I just marry. ignored him he told you have three children you had seven you are seeing what is causing you now he said we ignore him all around think of how he has cautioned people many times and we refused our stubbornness and stiff neckedness tonight is a night of genuine restoration there are many people you used to walk with him his presence the holy spirit would wake you wake you at specific times there are people who have that encounter where he would wake them but now you threw him out the holy spirit is like um in fact when you study certain hebrew studies he's like a woman that's where you get the word roak hakodesh you see that it's a feminine characteristic if he's not invited he does not come if you keep him in the parlor he remains there forever you tell him holy spirit enter my house but parlor bedroom and the first toilet that's that's where you should don't ever enter my kitchen you will keep eating nonsense and have a beautiful parlor because the area you allow his influence is the area you see the glory of god don't say he's in me 
did you invite him to your finances his presence not his principles we try to learn bible we go to theology schools we go to bible schools and we never consult the author i told you he's the author of scripture he worked with people in the old testament are you not seeing how he turned a little boy called Samuel to a wonder? He called somebody looking like me, Samson, and made him a judge over Israel. Look at the people he transformed. He turned Deborah. Mary said, how shall these things be? He said, don't worry. The father of this child will be the Holy Ghost. The power of the highest, the Holy Spirit, the manifestation of the possibilities of God. Listen, let me tell you. Everything today that is happening that is good, I learned something from Bishop Oyedepo. He said, everything that is good, credit it to God. Everything that is bad, credit it to my not hearing him. I adopt that principle. If there is anything that is good in Koinonia, the wisdom from the system of the messages, if there is anything that is bad in Koinonia, I take responsibility. It is a revelation of the area where I have not yielded to him. So is your life so is your life you gave him access to your academics look what his presence is doing you literally sit down in an exam for 20 minutes you don't have an idea all of a sudden something comes in your life and you begin to write even things you know that you did not read you gave him permission there but you rejected him in your finances and you say look you know this economics we have to do it with intelligence and oh how gentle he is he will truly step back truly step back the psalmist said cast me not away from your presence he said take not your holy spirit from me it's not enough to have him have you allowed his person to influence your life that's what we're talking about look at many of our parents he's not an influencer of their decisions they have used experience and look at the things that are happening in their lives because they have ignored him you are too young to master life your age is too small to navigate the vicissitudes of life the oldest person on earth is not up to 150 years trust the ancient spirit is the Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Living God? Is the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings? Is the Holy Ghost, Seal of the Age to Come? Is changing. I woke up this morning and I got a very sad text from a man of God. I remember talking to the man. He said he wanted to start ministry somewhere. And I told him, I, I said, I think you need to relax. I look at you and I do not see, based on the description of the kind of ministry, I don't think I've seen intimacy in the Holy Spirit. And he ignored me. He just forgot everything. And he went to go and start the ministry. And he sent me a text this morning. He said, I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do he said for the first time in his life early this morning he was contemplating suicide i can tell you not with the holy ghost impossible suicide where from the voice that can show you a way where there is no way the holy spirit when the nation of israel were trapped he said i will send my angel before you that was the angel of the Lord's presence to speak. Not just an angel like Michael, no. Mary, how shall these things be? Seeing not that I know not a man. He said, the power of the highest. Please hear me. The secret to you doing what has never been done in your family is not anger, it's him. All of them embraced the spirit you you are not embracing anything you just say i'm born again i will be successful it's pride you are a joker nobody succeeds without the assistance of a spirit i will teach you partnership next week the ministry of the holy spirit I'll tell you his ministry to unbelievers his ministry to believers and his present day ministry to the church but tonight i want you to know that the holy spirit does not just want to be in you 
he wants to walk with you and the lord walking with them and the lord walking with koinonia and the spirit the author of the bible opening it to joshua selman not that you go on youtube and download a message and say ah this greek word you write it coin them together and go and preach no the same way where you meet an author he autographs on the copy he gives you and you know that you met with the author to you i will run my beloved you've captured my heart Listen. Come. Can you surrender your life to the Holy Spirit? I'm not saying be born again. That's not what I'm saying. Donate your life. Holy Spirit, I donate myself. I'm tired of what I can be without you and my lifetime is too short to keep guessing and later find out I've wasted my life so I hand it over to you are we together to you I will run my beloved that songs of Solomon like the prodigal son who the father saw him and he ran embraced him hugged him put back the robe of royalty the signet ring and said my son was lost but now i'm found many of you have left him you left his influence and you went to do your own thing i'm not just talking of it doesn't have to be bad but if it's not him you will still suffer how many hired servants do my father have they live in plenty and here i am a son of the kingdom feeding on pigs and my benevolent father is there but i must run to him before he comes i will arise and i will go to my father and i will say father i have sinned against you and against heaven i am not worthy to be called your son but take me as one of your servants he said and when the father saw him afar off he ran one thing I know with the Holy Spirit, all he needs is for you to take one step and say, Holy Spirit, I ignored you. I have ignored you in my life. The moment a guy came into my life, he just took away my brain, took away my sense, took away you. Would you dance with me? Lover of my soul To the song of all the songs Sing it one more time Would you dance with me Listen, let me tell you how I prepare for miracle service. I lie down with my paper and my Bible. I don't just get up and say the sick are coming. Spirit of the living God, I am limited. Thousands of people are coming. Probably thousands and millions of others connecting around the world. I am too small to heal them. I am too small. And I mean his presence just mantling me. And I'm saying, Lord, right about now there are people. The venue is packed full. The troubles that people have is too much. I can't be the one to solve it. And then he tells me, don't worry. Partnership. Let me show you one scripture before we round up. Give me this scripture, please, quickly. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians 3, verse 9. I hope I'm right. It just came to my spirit. Please quickly, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. I never walk alone. I know he's with me. For we are what? Laborers together with God. We are laborers, partners. 
Shalakota Salabatea. Partners. 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 There is a role I have to play. There is a role he has to play. I'm a partner with him. I never walk alone. I would have died if I'm the one leading Koinonia alone. No. I'm too small. I don't have that wisdom and experience. My life is too small to be the way it is by my own strength. Young Gicho wrote a book, Holy Spirit, my senior, not my mate, Holy Spirit, my senior partner. In his church, he has a big chair like you find in the Anglican. That chair is for the Holy Ghost. He said, I cannot be sitting down in front and the Holy Spirit is nowhere. You may not put a physical chair, but open up your heart and say, this is for you forever forever and then he will show you things i told you he is the wisdom of god he comes into your life and produces signs and wonders i look at my life today and i'm humbled i don't even know what to tell him holy spirit what you are seeing if there is anything good that you see in my life behind the scene there is somebody living through me if i stretch my hands is his hands what you are hearing now you are looking at a physical person but if god were to open your eyes i'm like a puppet he's speaking through me that's why the power that comes from him only flows through me to you the devils know what they are seeing the sicknesses know what they are seeing the lady who had an issue here when i was hearing those testimonies you know they were all thanking me thank daddy what i was doing in my heart is thank the real daddy the father in me the lord of koinonia the true apostle of this ministry not joshua selman i'll be stupid to claim that i have the power to lead people you made a way you made a way don't know how but you did it don't know how but you did it that's my testimony for he's moved the mountain you cause walls to fall and with your power you perform miracles there is nothing tonight that humanly speaking you don't know how it will be done that is not your business that trying to find out how it will be done is the secret to killing yourself leave that to your partner your senior partner he's the wisdom of god he's the author of scriptures he knows where he meets your answer is listen stop weeping stop crying stop looking like life is all over your head no say to the righteous there is a reason why you say to them he gave them the holy spirit he said tarry in jerusalem don't let pride make you go out and start preaching tarry until he comes Hallelujah. look what he has done with this ministry today you see let me tell you something every time I hear the reports about what God is doing we travel around all the place all the time tomorrow we're in Lagos and I see the mighty things that he does and I see people coming sometimes to enter the car people are all around trying to touch any part of my body crying man of God and I keep looking hi do I really truly in all honesty do I really have the power to solve their problems no. pride is what has killed many of us we drove his presence through pride yes I'm the one 
Ah, that prophetic word came from me. That prayer came from me. That uh, fasting came from me. That this, my church, I built it with my wisdom. I studied X, Y, Z. That business, I, I, I know these things. Let me tell you, ask all those who know me. I look like a bold person, but my personal life, I can be so shy, especially when you start thanking me. Or I, I don't know where to put my face. You know this time, uh, we want to appreciate a very great man of God. Ah, you have killed me. I don't even know where I'm going to hide my face because I know you are lying. You think you are telling the truth, but it's a lie. I know him. Prayer point number one. Lord, any part of my life that is yet to subscribe to your influence, tonight I lay it down. I lay it down. Oh, 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 oh. lay it down. surrender everything don't say I'm not a pastor this is not a pastor affair don't say I'm too old I'm too young oh, I, I surrender all to you everything I give to you withholding nothing withholding nothing I'm withholding nothing withholding nothing pray koinonia I surrender everything to you shabala katalabosia Everything I give to you, Lord, I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing, Lord, I'm withholding nothing, Shalakata Paratokasai, withholding nothing, not my life, not my ego, withholding nothing. Withholding nothing, Lord, I surrender all to you, and everything I give to you. I'm withholding nothing, withholding nothing. Take my heart and mold it. Take my mind, it's my prayer alone. Transform it. Pray, Koinonia. Take my will and yeah, conform it to be yours. Let it be like yours. Oh Lord, pray, surrender everything. Take my heart, share and hold it. Take my mind, transform it. I give you my will, I give you my will, conform me. Yes, Lord. Everything I hand it over to you. Do a handover ceremony tonight. I hand it over. I stop this pride of mine and I hand over my life and everything not just to your power Lord of my relationship 
Lord of my life, Lord of my finances, the chief influencer of my destiny. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Lord, manifest yourself in my life and to me. Man, let there be a revelation of you a revelation an encounter with the Holy Ghost lift your voice and cry for some of you what you need to say is Lord restore it I want to know you I want to hear your voice I want to call you Lord I want to touch you I want to hear your voice I want to know you Lord. I want to know you I want to know you I want to hear your voice. I want to love you more. I want to touch you. I want to see your face. I want to love you more. Prayer point number two. Lord, whatever I have lost because your presence was no longer in my life let it come back like the hair of Samson you know what you used to carry you know what was in your life don't act like it's still there cry for mercy let it come oh God there was a grace upon my voice that every time I sang I revealed to people reality of his presence is no more there there was wisdom untold upon my life it's no more there spirit of god bring it back How many battles are you fighting in your life by yourself and it's killing you killing you because you were not designed to fight alone David would have died if he dared try to fight Goliath alone hallelujah hallelujah the last prayer point tonight before I make the altar call I want you to cry a cry of revival you know what revival is many people it's not a language that the church even knows again they don't know what revival is I tell you they think they know revival when fire comes back to your life when fire comes back to your home when God returns back like they were dancing when the ark was returning back to Israel revival I like you to lift your voice and cry set my life on fire set my life aflame again pray my prayer life aflame revival my word life revival find the flame so God find the flame so God Hallelujah, thank the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thank the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, thank the glory. 
Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, by the glory, revive me again. Hallelujah, by the glory. Hallelujah, Amen. Hallelujah, by the glory. Please revive us again. Please revive us again. Please restore us again. Please renew us again. Please retire us again. Hallelujah. I want to pray a prayer now. Holy Spirit, I stand on behalf of your people and on behalf of this ministry. We ask that in any way, as a person and as a ministry, we have ignored any part of your presence and your ministry. We ask for your mercy. And Lord, I pray afresh, I'm asking you tonight by the privilege of the grace to lead this ministry and on behalf of your people and the thousands and the millions of people in a fresh way we invite you again to our lives we invite you again to koinonia you are the wisdom and the power of god you are god alone you are the source of every grace and unction. You are the influence behind our teachings. And we will outspokenly let the world know that we are nothing. This is not about Joshua Selman. This is not about the wisdom of a man. We acknowledge you. And we declare that to you be all the glory. To you be all the praise. Let no flesh ever boast in your presence. In the name of Jesus and I pray for you as this series is on encounters with the Holy Ghost fresh encounters listen hear me some of you from this night you will start having series of dreams I mean dreams that will continue the next day another episode of the Holy Spirit revealing himself listen you will start feeling physical presence working with you you will know that a personality is working with you some of you will wake up in the morning and see your bibles open to chapters by the holy ghost open to chapters by the holy ghost he will lead you to the messages to listen to listen every embargo blocking his voice to your ears to confuse you i command that thing lifted right now but one of the most remarkable things that you will see tonight as we make the altar call is brokenness there are many of you that have never had it your heart is stubborn towards anybody god a man i am the god of myself I do anything that I want to hell with anybody brokenness brokenness some of you can insult your parents they call you you blast them and off the phone insult authorities insult anybody blast your roommates from tonight something will eat you up like a cancer and you will change brand new in the name of Jesus Christ as we sing this song pass me not O gentle Savior I want if you are here please I want you to be serious tonight we are not playing games there are people online there are people outside who are saying man of God I need Jesus I need the Holy Spirit without receiving Jesus and his substitutionary sacrifice you do not have access to the Holy Ghost and there are others who are saying right now please man of God I need restoration in my life 
if I tell you the truth, I'm almost like an unbeliever right now. I need Jesus. Please, if you are in that category, as we are singing that song, Savior, Savior, I want you to run, run and make your way to the front quickly. Savior, Savior, keep coming. Savior, hear my heart. Are you running to Jesus? Why on others? Thou art calling Do not pass There are some of you who should leave your seat and run out here Savior, Savior 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 Christ the solid rock I stand and all on the ground we sink in sight all on the ground we sink in I want you to lift your right hand to Jesus the head of the church the one you have come to I do not condemn you but I want you to be serious some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears talk to the Lord in one minute by yourself there are some of us who should be here we're in the crowd join them pray Jesus I come to you I am serious I'm not playing games total dedication surrender to the person of the holy spirit now pray this after me help that lady under the anointing pray this after me she can pray it on the ground there lift your hands pray this be very loud be very serious you are not reciting a poem you are talking to jesus your savior who is here in the person of the holy spirit say lord jesus say it again lord jesus this night I declare some of you as you are praying this prayer the Spirit of God who is the Spirit of the Lord the very life of God he will descend upon you like a dew from heaven say Jesus I believe in you that you are the Son of God say it again that you are the Son of God this night I ask you to come into my heart come into my life be my Lord say it again be my Lord be my Savior tonight total surrender spirit soul and body I am yours and yours forever in the name of Jesus keep your hands lifted I stretch my hands and I pray may you know the Holy Spirit in a fresh way in the name of Jesus Christ may you know the Holy Spirit in a fresh way may he reveal himself to you in the name of Jesus I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that you start a fresh walk with God tonight in the name of Jesus amen and amen congratulations I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands all of you in concert move this way and follow him please cooperate with him you will find out that some of you are standing here sicknesses just left your body like that cooperate with him god bless you very quickly and they'll have your information please everyone keep standing let's appreciate them as they go hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap 
the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you